Today we're all gathered here in Marikina River almost six years ago to this day. On Doi hit, it was a devastating time for Metro Manila, particularly for Marikina. If you can see, this is the water level right now. We're at a pretty safe level. But six years ago, one can still remember the iconic images that greeted us on our television sets. We can just imagine that time was almost apocalyptic in, in a lot of ways. We've assembled the team that we've worked with from the start. We have the team of Buen Salido Architects. We have our contractor. We have representatives from the Coast Guard. Our objective today is to see if this carport can actually take the load of what is perhaps the equivalent of a, a small SUV. This has never been done in the Philippines and this is a prototype. We're very excited that this day has come because we've prepared for for a long time and it actually took us a long time to develop the concept for this. The vision for Project Smart Home Marikina is to come up with a house design that is climate adaptive. In other words, it's specific to solving the problems of floods. What we have to do as architects, as developers, as designers is to make the house design adapt to the changing climate of the world. For Project Smart Home, Essentially, it's a five townhouse development with rafts or regenerative amphibious floating terraces. This uh, product essentially is the raft. The raft will come in two forms. One is a balcony, which can detach so that people can use it so that they can row themselves to the nearest evacuation center. The second form of the raft is a carport. So while you're in the evacuation center, what will happen is your car is envisioned to simply float in place so that you, as a homeowner, don't necessarily have to worry a lot about your vehicle, which is back home. So it basically completes the vision for Project Smart Home Marikina. Basically, the marine floor is what we are going to use for these uh, projects. And this is usually used for alternatives to pontoon. So with this one, it can hold about 95 kilo per cube that it can carry some coche or more than that. Two persons can install this one. They have a, a pin that holds all the four cubes. And then sa gilid niya, meron din tayong a bolt that will fix the whole perimeter. For one car park, I think it will take about less than 30 minutes to complete. So installation is very fast. We are very happy to be part of this. And uh, of course, it will save a lot of properties, especially cars that we always treasure. Lastly, it is not only saving all the cars, but it also saves life. My uh, participation in the project is to connect it to how the community can make use of the innovation or the invention. So they got me on how to test it if it's really operational so that uh, it can increase the margin of survival of our countrymen, particularly in the flooded plains. Before we started our event, uh, we had our safety induction. We made it mandatory that everyone who will be performing on top of the platform will be done with personal protection device. This is to comply to the safety procedures. Although I have high trust on the modular platform that we are testing, but this is just to ensure that uh, we are doing it really the proper way. Another thing is we put systems in its place like having riggers. We got also our standby medics. This is just to have a high headroom that we are really on the safe, secured workplace or activity place. So what we've done here is that we've actually placed the sandbags mm -hmm. on four corners of this carport to simulate the weight that this would bear on the carport. The good thing is, as long as I have the poles, this can give me a room to go up depending on the level of the floodwaters. Doc, as a real-world solution, do you think this is something that uh, we can really take public and, and have people adapt to their, their own home designs? Yes, our way of describing resiliency program. This is very good. We cannot just move people out from flooded plains. So we have elevated or stilt houses and we have carports which have platforms which can elevate. And this is one way that uh, we can do it. I must admit it was scary at first. Before we even got on, we were thinking, is this actually going to work? But if you step on top of it, you will feel that it's actually very stable given the fact that the load was actually more than what you would put. What this test gave us today was a sense of confidence in the system that we brought here today. Immediately after the test, we wanted to test the floatable balcony. And essentially, it's the same mechanism, it's the same system, but we have about eight cubes this time. Now, given there's a smaller surface area to work with, we decided to just test it between myself and Dr. Ted. These are the learnings that we have for today. 
and hopefully something that we'll take with us when we launch the house about a month from now. I, I salute this project. I'm supporting it because this is one avenue wherein we can really stand up again and build back better.